Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about translating algebraic expressions. So what I'm going to do is we're going to read each one and we're going to translate it into math terms. I think this will help us for future word problems and just in general um, to have a stronger understanding of how we can take words or word problems and make them into a mathematical representation. So the first one says four fifths of the sum of W and nine. <clears throat> so first of all, what do we mean by the sum? The sum means the addition, right? So the sum of W and nine means W plus nine, right? Because we're adding the two, the sum, right? So the sum always means we add. And then it says four fifths of, well, what does of mean? Of means multiply. So whenever you see of, it means we multiply. So four fifths of the sum of W and nine means four fifths multiplied by W plus nine in brackets, right? <clears throat> because it's four fifths of that sum, not four fifths of, of W and then we add nine. So there's the distinction there I wanted to make. Okay. The second one says seven times the sum of r and four. So again, what is the sum of r and four? That's gonna be r plus four. And then it's gonna be seven times whatever that sum is. So the seven goes on our left. And then it says six is added to one fifth of y. Okay, so six is added, that means it's six plus and then one fifth of y. So that would be the same as one fifth times y or y over five. <clears throat> so in this case, they made the distinction that it's not one fifth of the sum of y and six. No, it's we take six and we're gonna add that to one fifth of just y, right? So the division by five is only happening to y specifically, not to six as well. <clears throat> Good, uh, number four. <clears throat> says seven times the sum of six and z. Well, here we have seven times the sum, so six plus z, and there we go. Two is subtracted from n. So what does that mean, subtracted from n? That means we start with n, and then two is subtracted from n, so we do minus two. <clears throat> Number six says the sum of D and seven. Well, that one's easy. We just put D plus seven and then call it good. Number seven says two is subtracted from one half of Y. Okay, so that means we have one half of Y first or Y over two, and then two is subtracted from one half of Y. So we subtract two as well. So it's y over 2, right, because that's a half of y, and then we're going to subtract, we're going to subtract 2. <clears throat> Good. Q is added to 4. Well, that's just, that's simple. That's just Q plus 4. One, add 1 fifth to 8 times P. So it says add 1 fifth. So we're going to start with 8 times P, so 8P, and then it says add 1 fifth to to that, add one fifth to eight times p. So I'm gonna add one fifth like that. Then it says, add eight to five times w. Okay, so let's do that, five times w, and then it says, add eight to that quantity, so plus eight. And there we have it. All right, so I hope this, uh, this exercise helped you. Um, but yeah, I know that was a pretty short lesson for today. Uh, next day, <clears throat> we're going to be talking about solving systems of equations. And once we get into word problems of that, this lesson will come in handy. So uh, good work today, and I will see everybody for the next one. Bye, everyone.